How Fraudsters Get Access to Enterprise Networks Using Smishing This is FlexiCorp This is Bob Bob is one of the FlexiCorp employees FlexiCorp provides Bob with internal systems when not in the office The browser creates a secure connection to the FlexiCorp web server The FlexiCorp web server returns the login page Bob enters his credentials his credentials are sent securely by his browser to the FlexiCorp web server. Once his credentials are verified, access is granted. Bob now has full access to the internal systems. One day, Bob receives a text message. It looks like it comes from FlexiCorp and the link looks like a FlexiCorp link. Bob clicks on the link. Bob is presented with the familiar login page for FlexiCorp. Bob enters his credentials. Bob gets an error telling him the site is under maintenance. He resolves to try again shortly and goes on with his day. Elsewhere in the world, a bad actor has just gotten access to FlexiCore internal systems. How could this happen? Let's examine the last interaction when Bob clicked on the link in the text message. While the link may look legitimate, it actually points to a site run by the bad actor. When Bob clicks on the link, the request goes to the bad actor's site, not FlexiCore. The bad actor's site resends the request to the actual FlexiCorp web server. The FlexiCorp system believes this to be a standard login and returns the login page. The bad actor's web server records the login page and sends it on to Bob. Bob enters his credentials. His credentials are sent to the bad actor's site. The bad actor's site records the credentials and forwards them to FlexiCorp. FlexiCorp validates the credentials and grants access. The bad actor gains access and sends the bogus maintenance in progress to Bob. Bob assumes there is a temporary problem and goes on about this day. The bad actor now has the same access to FlexiCorp's internal systems as Bob. They can proceed to exfiltrate sensitive data, install ransomware or other malicious activities. Contact us today to find out how we can help you protect your network and subscribers. www.openmindnetworks.com